A day of action across the country. Students walking out of their classrooms protesting gun violence. But is it sparking any action in Washington? Today, the House overwhelmingly passed a stop school violence bill. Money for training, but nothing on gun control. Blaine Alexander following all of that tonight in Washington. Well, hello to you from Washington. Both parties will acknowledge that today's bill was just a first step, but many of the students who walked out today want to make sure that the next step includes gun control. Gun control. They came to the seat of power from the White House to Capitol Hill. Thousands of students raising their voices, demanding action against gun violence. Do your jobs. Give us concrete solutions. Lawmakers are paying attention. America is listening to your voices. Today, the House overwhelmingly passing the Stop School Violence Act. $50 million a year to beef up school security, better training to identify warning signs, and improve coordination between schools and law enforcement. More tools to actively identify a potential shooter before a tragedy happens. But nothing on guns. President Trump has promised his support for the measure. Congressman Ted Deutsch, who represents Parkland, helped write the bill before the shooting. I know that this does not go far enough in terms of what we need to do, but it is an important step. But students say even that step is too small. But I promise you this, if they fail to make gun control laws, then in a couple years, when they're voted out, we will. The NRA tweeting its stance, I'll control my own guns. But students promising to continue their pressure for lawmakers to act on tougher gun laws. And another bill you may have heard about is the Fix Nix bill that deals with background checks when purchasing guns. That bill is still in the Senate and has not yet come up for a vote. I'm Blaine Alexander in Washington. Back to you.